Stacy and Jay Spoo, East Coast Radio. Love East Coast Radio, KZN's number one hit music station. Stacy, solo with you until six o'clock. Welcome to it. KZN, in case you missed it, I've already given you a lesson on oral hygiene. I expect my chicks to be in the mail. And now we turn our attention to something equally as important. We launched it yesterday. It is called the December Survival Guide, where we have collated a number of interesting talk topics, uh, conversations that need to be had before we embark on our vacay so that we don't end up bleak, sad, and self-deprecating, not in a humorous way, come 1 January 2024. Today, in Hour 1, we're having a discussion around what does fashionably late mean to you now before we get into any of this i'd like to kick things off i'm even using my news presenter voice here i'd like to kick things off by saying if you are late and i'm a fashion girly but if you are late there is nothing fashionable about that anything later than 15 minutes i'm leaving this is who i am as a person that's if you're coming to my house or a meeting for lunch or whatever i can only pretend that i'm here on my cell phone and not a weirdo for 15 minutes and then i booty bounce However, if I have to go to the opening of an envelope, you know, where it's like a bunch of people and randos and I don't know them, I generally rock up 45 minutes after the event starts because by then people are there. Because I'm very urich. If I'm on time, then I'm late. I'm always early. This is who I am as a person. But when there are other people, I mean, I don't want to be just me and like, you know, the hostess. Like, hey, girly. Like, I don't want to be that person either. So just for some balance, for some counter culture gedunter. I have roped in Vic Naidu, who is probably going to invoice me for the 18 minutes he had to wait to do this link with me because Vic, would you not say that you are the king of being quote unquote fashionably late? Uh, I would say I get there as soon as I wanted to. See, this is my point. I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. I didn't want to come. That is the <laughs> that is the inference when when you are late. I have issues leaving the house, so got things to do. Things to do, and I'd rather get there late so I can minimize my time out there. In the streets. In the streets. Where and people I think, can see you and bad things can happen. And I disagree with you. I think like 15 minutes, like now I feel, now I know what you actually feel about me every time I come around because you know it's never 15 minutes for me. It's no, but, like no, but you an see, hour max. You know those memes 15. that are doing the rounds? Like, you know, you are meeting somebody and if they're late, you win $2 million. Who are you inviting? It's always going to be Vic. You know what I mean? I understand that Vic is that person. I have another friend, Adeline, who is, she, it, it, she is incapable of being on time. If you want her on time, you tell her the event starts two hours before it actually does, then she'll be on time. And that's it. I don't think it's like I do it intentionally. I just think it's a flaw of mine and I think it's like almost like it's my it's my own I don't I don't know if I can say it, but like yeah, it's my No, no, don't say that. <laughs> don't <laughs> it's say my, that. Yeah, it's a flaw for me. Like but I think it's 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 something that's it's it's just a part of who I am. I don't intend to be late. It's part of the Vic Nadio experience. Okay, so there you go. Those are his it excuses. Just happens. Two types of people in this world. Those who are on time and those who are quote-unquote fashionably late. However, what determines fashionably late? Can you How just much chill time? and give us some grace? An hour is fine. Like an it, hour. So you're saying an hour an is fashionably hour late. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're good. And I'm going to give you a vibe. I'm going to come with all the personality, all the laughs, all the good things. You're an hour late on Sunday and the vibes were only 50%. Okay. I barely KZN. make it on time to work. <laughs> KZN, what in your opinion defines fashionably late i.e. you're there your intentions are pure okay but you're not exactly on time but no one's going to be annoyed with you because you're just fashionably late not late late 061-792-9495 as we kick off day two of the december survival guide in this hour we're trying to avoid squabbles we're trying to avoid ill feeling we're trying to avoid people just getting up and leaving maybe potential restaurants giving away your table what qualifies as quote unquote fashionably late because we appreciate that obviously if you are a person with many creams and serums and under eye gels and so on and so forth like anybody over the age of 30 then if you're applying all of those things you need to sit in the air con you need to have what we call an air con shower so you need to cool off in between let the product soak and then you do your makeup then you sort your hair out then you put your clothes on then you put on your sandals then you're only out the door so you've got to work backwards so maybe like Vic is saying an hour an hour is apparently fine to be fashionably late. Nicholas Tatham, father, husband, sports enthusiast. It cannot be later than 25 minutes. I agree with you. 25 minutes and well, half an hour is pushing it, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Um, I do have a family that are big fans of being fashionably late. 
Big, big fans. The, the, the creed of the Tatham is really, if you think <laughs> about it. <laughs> it's what you stand for. We will be there when we get there. And you will be happy to receive <laughs> us on arrival. Okay, KZN, that is the question, Misawa. And look, there is no right or wrong answer unless someone like me who believes 15 minutes is too late and somebody like Vic who thinks an hour is fine happen to cross paths at some stage in their lives. 0617929495. Sam, what do you think? Hi, KZN, Sam from Durban North. If we're saying that we're meeting at 3 o'clock and you're only getting there at 3, being on time is being late and being punctual is a sign of respect. Stacey and Jay Spoon, East Coast Radio. Does the term fashionably late make you feel some type of way? Like, what is your definition of fashionably late? Is it even a thing? To me, it's not. If you're late, you're late. There's nothing fashionable about it. Uh, unless, of course, you let me know. Because I also feel like you know you're going to be late before you are already half an hour late. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You know what I mean? We're just, and that's not goal math. That's math math. Take that, Stunner Grade. Uh, so on the line to give us her opinion, Khadna from Belito. How are you? I'm fine and you, Stacey. I am very well. Khadna, what is fashionably late to you? What does that mean? In my books, personally, no. If you have to be there at 12, you should be on your way or close to be sitting down at five minutes to 12. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You see. But, but there are people that say if it's a social event, 15 minutes are acceptable. And if it's a formal event, 30 minutes is acceptable. Really? I can I'm be. Th- still old. I'm still old school. Yeah. So in our books, there is no. You can't be late for anything. Yeah, if because. You if- have picked up at 10 o'clock, you're ready at quarter to 10, sitting what? waiting. See, now the thing is, Khadna, this is now taking me back. And I was telling the team off air. When I was a young warthog and going to school, I have a younger sister. Her name is Kendall. My dad is the same. So he, me, and you. Same WhatsApp group, right? So if you're on yes. time, you're late. You should have been here 10 minutes ago, okay? Just just, just in case. You know what I mean? A little bit of a buffer. What if there's a car stuck on the side of the road? What if there's a doggy that needs rescuing? What if your shoe's broken? You know what I mean? Your eyebrows are crooked. They're like things you need to take care of en route. Petrol, so on and so forth. So yep. that is kind of how we live. And we left my sister at home three times over the course of our schooling career because she could not be in the car at 6.47 when we are backing out. So she'd be like come running down the road with her school bags and her netball bag and all of her nonsense. And he was like, this is how you learn. You must be on time. It's so disrespectful to be late. So you agree, yeah. doesn't matter if it's someone's wedding, if it's a brunch with the girls, if it's a hangout after work, you must be on time. You must be on time. Because it's very um, disrespectful, especially when it's like a school function. Yeah. The, the, the parents are all sitting down and the kids are ready to start their little performance. I'm a grandma, so there's people still rushing in half an hour later, Ooh. disturbing everything. Ooh. No, it's <laughs> yeah. my book. Yeah, no. So, yeah, <laughs> by the way, if you recently went to a school situation and you saw... A G unit giving you a fell cake. It was Khadna. Thank you very much, Khadna. Have a beautiful Tuesday, okay? You do, Stacey. Lots of love. love. Bye. <laughs> there we go. So Khadna's going, no, babes. If you are late, you are late. End of story. Full stop. Pint. Period. That is the end of that. Where do you land on this? Fashionably late? A concept that you subscribe to? Yeah, I'll give you 15 minutes grace. Or is that not it, guys? It doesn't matter that it's December. You are wasting my time. Send me a voice note. Tell me what you think. Yesterday, we discussed how long people need to be in your house. You know what I mean? Those same people. So if you are all going to gather in the middle because you put them in the Airbnb as discussed on the Monday edition of Stacey and Jasper, you're not meeting somewhere. What does fashionably late mean to you specifically? Do you even subscribe to such a thought? Should it even exist? Vic Nidio at the top of the show was saying, oh, well, I think like an hour. I eh? think an hour is okay. Um, Nicholas Tatham and I strongly agree. We are firmly in the 15 to 30 minute yeah. Uh, like a uh, quadrant there. If so, and, and also, but you need to let me know. Don't but, just leave me sitting there like a chop for Yeah, half don't just an hour. think that I assume that you're oh. commas. Because then I'm going to be fashionably angry in inverted <laughs> commas. <laughs> you ever seen, you ever seen, no one has ever been as dramatic as I am when you're late to a restaurant, guys. The whole restaurant <laughs> is going to know that you are behind time. So, where do you land on this case at end? Just so that people can be prepped, ready. And maybe we need to start instituting a rule where we just tell people the, the, the whole situation starts. 45 minutes earlier because then no one is angry guys it's December these frown lines I can't I can't Stacy, I know some people to whom the term African time would be 
somewhat pushing it for being precise. As in, if they're late, might be a day or five. Hey, Stacey. This is Bridget. So what is fashionably late, according to me, is 30 minutes. 30 minutes and that's it. If you're an hour late, two hours late, you're being rude and offensive. Please, as a bleep. Afternoon, Stacey. No such thing as fashionably late. If you're late, it's rude, no matter what. Hi, Stacey. I think that being fashionably late is like being late by 25 to 38 minutes. It's being late on purpose just to give the impression that you are a busy person and you had other plans rather than coming to that event. Hey, East Coast. Laganja Estranja, a famous drag queen, once said that if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you are late, you're fired. So I think that is a good thing to go by. Stacy and Jay Spoo. Gardner from Belito's like, <laughs> these kids of today. Guys, please le- leave Belito in, like, in the state that you found it. Welcome. <laughs> Give us your money. Okay, that's that's fine. Have a wonderful time. Make memories. Take photos. Remember, if it goes on the internet, it's there forever. You can't scrub it. However, if we could just leave Belito in the state that we found it, and that would be swell. Thanks, everybody over 30. <laughs> um, in the meantime, though, uh, in this hour, as we proceed with our December survival guide, uh, this concept of being fashionably late, because people are... And it is the holiday, you know what I mean? So people are taking their time and, you know, you have a slow morning. Every morning becomes a slow morning. You forget which day of the week it is. You do lose track of time. However, if you know that your friends are like me, if I'm your friend and you know that it's going to... Like, this is how you get uninvited from the friends, miss. Yeah. No, truly. Yeah. Like, you cannot... And, and just in case anybody's worried... Vic Naidu will be going back to Joburg. So he would have missed Friendsmas anyway. So he's cool with not being on the list. But like, because I then feel like I need to exact revenge on you or something. Because for me, it's such a pet peeve when people are late. So I'm not like everybody else and everybody else isn't like me. And I appreciate that. But somehow we must all coexist simultaneously. While Jingle Bells is playing in the background, it's a tall ask. So KZN to round it out. Next set of voice note mashup situations. What to you is fashionably late? Is it even a thing people should be doing? Or is that like a bunch of other stuff and we just like left it behind in the 90s like low-rise jeans? Hi, this is Stacey and Jace Boo. Mike, everybody's favorite, of course. I would basically say fashionably late is when you make an impact and you get there while everybody's already sitting down eating and you come up with some extravagant story, but you're looking the part. You're looking good as gold. This is Mike. Oh. Hi, Stacey and Jay Spoo. This is Crescenta from Phoenix. I'm afraid to say I am always fashionably late. I try, I really do, but it just takes a girl so long to dress and put makeup and hair, and there's so much of else that goes into getting ready that I'm always like 15, 20 minutes late, but I really don't mean to. Stacey and Jay, Ryan from Drummond. There is no such thing as fashionably late. If you are late, it is just plain rude. Hi, Kaysa, and it's Nicole here. So I like to think of myself as being a professional at being fashionably late. I mean, being a little late is okay uh, so long as it's less than 30 minutes. It's not going to hurt the function. You'll still show up for everything. Uh, fashionably be late is those people that know they're going to be late and purposely done and they just want the attention to be them on their outfits, on their swag, or their car. It happens a lot. Stacy and Chase Boo. People like to be late. That is a literal definition of fashionably late, so that people can look at their outfits. What? I'm not looking. If you are an hour late, I am not looking at your outfit, no. babes. I am like ascending from my chair. Staring you right in eyeballs. Your blood boils, and I'm grabbing my bag. <laughs> Toodles, babes. Like so. It's like yeah. There was there was no lunch that happened. Okay, full podcast. ecr.co.za. today. Also, if you are. Um, friends with somebody who claims that it's just part of their personality to never be on time. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I've always been like this. Stacy and Chase Boo. Weekdays 3 to 6 p.m. East Coast Radio.